everybody, welcome back to my video channel and today I'm talking with the amazing Tom Humphreys wedding photographer. So today let's talk about wedding photography. Woo! So Tom, tell us how you got into wedding photography because I know you started off as a chef and then you became a photographer. Yeah, so basically I fell into it really. I, I, I was chefing for years and I really enjoyed sort of the fine dining, the, the, the putting the food on the plate and all the rest of it. So I was quite artistic, or I thought I was. Um, and I just, I just had enough. So I bought a camera midweek and by the end of the week decided I was going to travel around the world and sort of learn photography. So I did that, came back. Um, I emailed 160 photographers and the last one was a company called Your Big Day and they happened to live around the corner from me, they yeah. had their own studio and they were one of the best body photographers in the country at the time. Um, they sort of taught me and uh, yeah, you know, I just... Uh, you don't just do wedding photography, you also do corporate as well. Yeah, so, so I do a lot of food photography for obvious reasons. Um, Photograph a lot of stuff for hotels, yeah. um, so rebranding, they ring me up and I photograph the bedrooms. Uh, um, and then other bits and bobs as well, professional portraits, um, you know, the, you, you get different ideas from different um, genres of photography, I suppose, you know. Um, how to shoot a landscape, if you want to put someone in the landscape, you know when the best time of day is, sort of thing. And then when you get back to a wedding, you're excited about doing, doing the wedding because you haven't done one maybe in a, in a couple of weeks or yeah. usually about a week. To be but and I think that shows that you get that reaction from couples and you get those creative shots that, that work and I think that's because you're always thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and also the, the, the big thing if you're wedding photography is being a people person. So it is, that's kind of how I get all, you know, most of my work. A lot of people feel relaxed around me. Um, I'm not over the top, but I'm not sort of that quiet. You wouldn't know I'm there. So, so we, we, I have a good time with the couples, and I get some get some really good reactions out yeah. of them. Or they they feel comfortable around me, so they feel comfortable enough to do to do things they wouldn't otherwise do in front of some other people, which sounds a little weird, but you know what I mean. It's Weddings are about your they're a personal event so you want someone to feel comfortable enough and people only do those personal interactions when they're really comfortable with yeah. who's surrounding them yeah absolutely yeah. spot on that's exactly what i sell myself on that's you know the amount of times i go to weddings and, and it, it, it's, it takes up until say the ceremony where i'm obviously the photographer because i'm doing the the sign of the register shot or something only the photographer's allowed to do at that yeah. point that people say to me oh, i didn't, didn't realize you're the photographer mate and then you find it's a knock-on effect. So when you come to doing group shots, like people don't mind, you know, you, they've already got on with you, they already know you're not gonna be an idiot or start shouting at people yeah. or be so timid it becomes awkward doing a group shot. You, it sort of all flows together nicely, yeah. do you know what I mean? You've built a rapport without trying like. I always think that because like photographers and entertainers, we're probably the, the main suppliers that they're on the daytime, aren't we? Well, and, I and, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but how similar the jobs are in that people recognise us by what we do. They recognise me by carrying a pack of cards. Yeah. They recognise you carrying a camera. Yeah. And then we've got to break down those pretenses of, oh, he's going to get a face with a camera, or he's going he's to try and be smart with the cards. And sometimes couples just go, oh, he's just chatting with us, and then we laugh. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, and, and it's getting to that level. And you work a lot with venues that you know quite well. I think a lot of venues recommend you. Yeah, a lot of venues. Because it's you. Yeah, exactly. And to be honest with you, I know a lot of the registrars now as well. I'm quite okay. So yeah. nine times out of 10, um, I'll walk into a walk, the venue, the registrar will walk in and straight away, it's like a breath of a lit, you know, they're like, oh, so Tom, how are you doing? You're all right. Oh, we have this bloke. Yes. And it, we're having a laugh and all the rest of yeah, it. Yeah. And I'm like, can I stand there? And it, it's the age old thing, like, because I'm nice to everyone and respectful, over the years I probably get more leeway than a lot of people because they know that you know I'm not going to take the mickey. As a photographer, when you turn up at a wedding, is there something that is there that you always look for that you need that brides might not think about? Just, it's just really, what, what do I need for? A trust is a big one, trust in what your photographers are not telling me, whoever you trust. So if they, if they do this or do that or move this or what, and trust. And sometimes as well, even if I say, look, I wouldn't bother doing that. Like from a photography yeah. point of view, you ain't going to make a great photo, you might as well go and enjoy yourself. Like, yeah. Um, oh, that sounds a be all and end all. I've done stuff before and they've said it ain't going to work, but if it means something to you, you know, then yeah. we'd do it anyway. But I don't know, to trust is a big thing. Um, 
you're, you're pretty you're pretty self-contained yeah to be that, fair that yeah that comes with experience yeah i mean i yeah I, to be honest the pro the process up until the wedding yeah with me the reason people pay for me is it, again it's all down to experience the process everything should be nailed before i get to the wedding yeah do you know what i mean like yeah yeah everything if i need if there's something they want to do you know, if they want to do like um, a really cool group shot with a border party and they've got smoke bombs and they want to do it at 11 o'clock at night and they want to then i say to them look we can do that but yeah. i need i need you to buy smoke bombs i need you to buy sparklers i need um you to tell your issues and boyfriends what we're doing and when we're doing it because there's no point at 10 o'clock at night us all going outside to do a shot and then find out your best man paul is absolutely slaughtered under the table yeah, yeah, and you can't yeah. come out um, or you know the one of them's gone to bed do, do, yeah, so but it's all done before the wedding yeah so when and we get to the wedding it's done it's, and it's, it's good to go along so stuff like that comes from experience we can pretty much sort ourselves out yeah yeah and, i mean and, and that's the trust thing isn't it exactly yeah, exactly that's yeah. what that's that's what you're paying for at our level you're paying for a seamless process the trust and not having to worry that's what i try and tell my clients like, they're like why are you more expensive the next month because you should leave here yeah. you pay a deposit you ain't got to worry about me until i'll email you two months or a month before the wedding to sort out pre-wedding shoot we then have another meeting where we get to know each other a touch more without sounding too cheesy and um, we go through the day um times dates all the rest of it everything i need to know when you get to the wedding you've you've not had to worry about photography you've not had to worry that i'm going to turn up or if what well, for whatever you know whatever reason we get to the day you ain't worried about me you just like tom will do everything tom if you need us give me a shout if you want us to do anything give us a shout and that that's it i know what to do when to do it do you know what yeah. i mean that, that's what you're paying for rather than oh yeah well I don't know, evil, he's a bit, oh, I don't know, he might, he might upset me mum or he might, he might not even turn up or, yeah. you know, he wasn't that much or, or have you got a spare camera? Can you afford a spare camera? Because we didn't pay too yeah. much. Do you know what I mean? That, that, that's, that's what that's you need. Simple. Outside photography, that, covering the whole wedding thing, is there any bit of advice you always would give to a couple? Yeah, rec anybody you use, you want to get, rec I'd get a recommendation. You want to be speaking to people and even if you've, you meet somebody and you don't know anybody who's used them. If I say, look, these people recommend me, um, it's worth having it, you know, we know the venue, so do you know, is he, you know, is he legit, all the rest of it. Experience is a massive thing. Make sure they know what they're doing. You know, I don't mean to be rude to people who've just started, because we all yeah. started somewhere, but, you know, if you've got, if you're lucky enough to have the budget to have someone who's good, who's, you know, been around for years and all the rest of it, then use it. You know, yeah. you're skimfling for 100 quid for my cool. time or not. What's your routine? What, where, where do you start? The champagne, the flowers, the, the hair, the makeup, all that. A bit more orchestrated than you think, but that's kind of the skill. Yeah. Tony and his best man, Paul, sitting in their boxy shorts. <laughs> it, it just didn't happen. Yeah. But actually, a lot of people look at that photograph and go, oh, look at that, you just captured dad doing that. 